How many years would this be affected? You know, before the industrial base exists for green hydrogen in India. All right, I am going to answer that question very cautiously. If you get twenty percent hydrogen, twenty uh, percent biofuel blending yes. by twenty twenty five, on which I can make a reasonable assumption, yes. we'll get it done. Between twenty twenty five and twenty thirty, you will see the uh, pace being quantified. Because we are planning to do what five million metric, uh, 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 five million, five million tons of green hydrogen by 2025. I think is grossly uh, conservative, inadequate. You'll do much more than that. If by 2025 and 2030 I move up the um, uh, the biofuel usage and in, in comes green hydrogen, I think between 2030 and 2040 you will see. Fossil fuels fading away and green hydrogen slowly but surely coming in. But depends on price. No price is price. That's has the to, big problem with green hydrogen. No price will be viable in India. Why? Uh, Vishnu, the gas does not lend itself to transportation. So Indian companies are also already selling green hydrogen, a uh, green ammonia to Unipa in Germany. They've already contracted to sell green ammonia to. Uh, the Singapore um, Electricity Authority, which are getting new G plants, etc. I've signed an MOU. Right. And so, what do you require? What do you require? You require demand in a place. You require the production capacity in a place, and you require consumption in that place itself. Because you can't transport the gas. So, if anybody argues with me that you can make produce green hydrogen in a a desert about 10,000 kilometers away. No, it will not be cost effective. So it has to be developed in various. So centers. today, today, my first meeting two years ago. I'm two years, two months into this ministry, was with the uh, U.S. Uh, Secretary for Energy, Jennifer Greenholm. I must I was very touched by a tweet she did. In that tweet, she said, uh, "We are very happy that the G uh, Global Biofuels Alliance has been uh, inaugurated. This is based on a deal done between Brazil, U.S., and India." At the Goa meeting in July, she talked about one one one. What is one one one? One kilo for one dollar for ten years. Okay. Now the price will come down. What do you need for green hydrogen? For green hydrogen, you need massive amount of local green power. We have demonstrated that you can bring down the cost per unit of um, solar. But more than that, see what your uh, entrepreneurs are doing. There's one company I won't name them because it will be a commercial advertisement. Otherwise, they've got plants all over the coastline in India. Right. Each one, three thousand, three thousand five hundred acres. What do they do there, Vishnu? They take the water up to a height of two thousand five hundred uh, feet and just drop the water. You need that green energy, and you need an electrolyzer. I can tell you with confidence. That it's large countries like India, Brazil, China, United States, where every electrolyzer manufacturer will go. Why will he go there? Because the consumption is going to take place there. Okay. So, so, where are we? If I have to answer your question honestly, I don't know whether we are at two dollars or two dollars plus, but I think the price will start coming down. It has to. It has to because demand will rise.